This is going to be a weekly series featuring Kevin Samuels, where I will be breaking down each of his talking points one by one so the black women can understand how uneducated he is on the topics that he speaks on and so that black women can understand that his main purpose is to win at growing his channel and entertaining black men at your expense. His purpose is not to help the black community, but to enrich himself. And even if you continue to call his show, at least you will do it with the knowledge that it is for entertainment purposes only and not take the Kevin Samuel Circus Act seriously. Since Kevin Samuels has placed himself on the main stage as the head dust mite of Dusty Black Men, I'm going to use him to show that his pathology is no different than any of the other black men in this country and around the world, and that he is just as derelict. And I'm going to use his talking points to illustrate that. In episode one of this series, I'm going to kick the dust out of his stance on welfare and the ignorance he exudes when he speaks on the topic. First, I want you to remember this little boy as we go forward into the video because he is going to come up again later as a very integral part of the valuable lesson that these women had to learn. Kevin Samuel's argument is that women in the 60s and 70s chose welfare over their husbands. They kicked them out of the house and according to him, this is what led to the breakdown of the family structure in the black community. In this video, you're going to see women and men who actually lived during that time as they spoke honestly about the welfare system and how it affected their family life. This was a sample of the black women in 1968 who had no other choice but to accept welfare because this was the only way she could care for her children. Their husbands voluntarily left the home because they were unemployed or underemployed and could not take care of their family. So they took the cowardly way out and left. How would it make sense that if their husbands were taking care of them and their children, that they would just kick them out? These women were buttoned up, proper, and lived only to care for their children. What benefit would it serve for any woman to have to carry such a heavy burden by herself? This group of women on welfare saw how they were being unfairly charged for food from the local stores. So they formed their own food buying club where they pooled their buying power, cut out the middleman and bought directly from the wholesalers. This shows how strong and resilient black women are. They don't just wallow and complain in their circumstances. They've been working to make their lives better and the lives of their children. Kevin Samuels, on the other hand, would have you believe that these women kicked their husbands out in favor of welfare, but the women of that era were married before they had children. It was the men who voluntarily left the family because he didn't have a job and he couldn't take care of them, so he took the coward's way out and just left. This is Newark, New Jersey. These women are on welfare and have formed this committee to protect their rights. Their chairman is Mrs. Marion Kidd. We went into the business of the stores that were overcharging welfare clients who were buying on credit. I myself used to go into the stores, maybe buy three kinds of meat, and we would take them and weigh them and see how much he overcharged us. Our main reason for wanting to start a consumer buying club is so that welfare clients will not have to go back buying food on time. Because we found that when a client went and bought food for $10, when she went to pay her bill, the bill had gone up $5. So this is our main purpose of feeding these people for a whole month, so that when they got the checks on the first of the month, that they wouldn't have to go back into debt. The fight really brought the committee more closer together. I always tell, you know, visitors or someone that wants to come in and, like, talk to the mothers, 
to be sort of careful of what they say because these women aren't just there sitting there. Some of them are coming there heavy-hearted. And get your group working like this group is trying to work, and then we maybe you can find it. We have considered welfare. Uh, we went to see about apply for welfare, but we were told that we were only eligible for five dollars a month, and uh, and and that that's not even worth it. But I don't believe in something for nothing anyway. I think a lot of people are capable of working and are willing to work, but it's it's just the way it's set up. It um. The, the mother and the children are better off if the husband isn't working or if the husband isn't there. And this breaks up so many poor families. One of the saddest things is that many of the children whose parents are on welfare will in their turn end up in the welfare trap when they grow up. On the rare occasion when black men didn't leave, it was because he made the decision to work for his family. Instead of leaving, so that she could qualify for welfare. Now, if a black man can be replaced with a crisp $5 bill, then he was part of the problem. But not only was welfare available to the families, work programs and training programs were also available to the fathers in order to keep them in the home, because intact families start with the stability of the father. The Missouri Welfare Department, in an effort to help stabilize the destitute family, and at the same time keep the man in the home, has instituted what is called a work experience program. It is designed to put dignity back into the unemployed father by either training or retraining him to be a productive member in today's labor force. How'd you find out about the work experience program? Well, I found out about when I ran out of employment checks, and I, I knew the hustle wasn't no good, I knew, you know, after a while, I just gave up on it. I went over to the welfare office to ask them for something, you know, because we wanted to try everything. We didn't want to do nothing real sneaky, you know, like let her get on ABC, I'll leave, leave home, and uh, tell, she'll tell the people that I deserted them. That, you know, she has to go through this to get on ABC. Right. We didn't want to do that. You know, and she went over, we went over there and uh, found out about the work experience over at the welfare office. And what are you doing now in, in the work experience program? What are you learning how to do? Uh, well, I'm going to be a welder. Looking forward to the future? Oh, yeah, yeah. Families together? Mm-hmm. Not selling anymore? No, we get, <laughs> we get along pretty good now. The stability of the Negro family, just as the white family, depends upon the stability of the man. If he is to head his home, he must have a job. If he cannot conform to the social norm, if he cannot meet his financial obligations, if he cannot react out of a sense of being responsible, then he loses respect for himself, his family loses respect for him, and finally, every semblance of family disintegrates as he helplessly looks on. Women chose government assistance, government benefits over a man in the house. Mm -hmm. But at, at the do same know, time... Do you not know that? I know that. Okay, then how, can, then how can you say that black men are responsible if you know that one fact? Well, no, not that they're responsible, that maybe that they were used in that moment. No, they weren't used. See, again, against bullshit. There we go again. Nope, absolutely not. Was black, you're talking about adults. They no, not made their. Women. They made black. So black women. So how were they? So they're not responsible. No, I was saying that maybe black men were used in the same scheme of the government that handed government assistance to black women. Black women had a choice. At the same time that black women had a choice. Black women black women had a choice. Black women had a choice. Black women had a choice. This is the modern feminist. This is a pro black feminist. Black this is and this is your problem. This is what's this is what black men are not dating. As cute as she is, it's a rap. This is what black men are having to deal with. This is what they're having to deal with. A bunch of useless knowledge going to a feminist ideal and women of my generation this 
is the product. 21 years old. This is the product. Generation X, this is your daughter. Putting the, putting the ask, who would you hold responsible for the breakdown of the black family? And even knowing the great society and the Monaghan report, she still puts it to black men. Mm. I was very tired. <laughs> we were all very tired. We were all very, very, very much tired. <laughs> and I, I think the tiredness came from wondering how, you know, sometimes you can think very hard and, and wondering how things, can, uh, how things are going to turn out. And when they do turn out good, uh, some of the tiredness sort of wear off, but then you know that it's just not tiredness from the work. It was a tiredness of from worry, warning how everything was going to go. This not nosed little boy is now around the same age as Kevin Samuels and the men who are repeating these disrespectful talking points. These women put their lives on the line to bring these children into the world. Then they put their lives on the back burner in order to take care of them. And this is the thanks they get. These boys are now in their 50s and refusing to acknowledge the truth that their fathers didn't want them. So they blame the mothers. Kevin Samuels knows that what he is saying is not the truth. But he is the product of a single mother, and he said before that she raised him to be a simp. He blames her for raising him instead of blaming his father for abandoning him. In my opinion, Kevin Samuels has mommy issues, and that is why he is at war with black women. But now that black women are realizing that their mothers and grandmothers actually gave birth to their closest enemy, Will today's black woman learn from her mother's and grandmother's mistakes and make different decisions going forward?